This is the death that we first covered in August of last year. But recently, there's been a lot of national scrutiny in this case. Using body camera footage from that night, Nine Wants to Know investigator Chris Vanderveen walks us through the critical aspects of what happened. Elijah McLean was 23 years old, five foot seven. He weighed 140 pounds. On the night of August 24th of last year, a man called 911. 911, what is the address of the emergency? A little after 10:30 p.m. He's walking south on Billy Street. He has a mask on. Okay. Were any weapons involved or mentioned? No. Okay. At 10:43 p.m., Aurora police officers spot the man in the mask. In less than a half hour. McLean will be in the back of an ambulance receiving CPR. Hey, stop right there. Stop. 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 I have a right to stop you because you're being suspicious. In order to better understand this story, you should know a few things. One, within 19 seconds of making contact, this happens. No, let go of me. No, I am an introvert. Please stop respect the boundaries that I am to. speaking. Stop relax. tensing up. Stop. Relax. Stop. I'm going home. Relax or I'm going to have to change this alone. situation. Hey, stop. Leave me relax. alone. Sir, can you please no, I want to get you sorry. leave me alone? No. Keep in mind at this point, McLean had committed no crime. As body cameras and officers and McLean fall to the ground, one officer says this. <laughs> Stop, you can't exactly see what happens next, but based on the audio, it's clear this is the moment officers apply what's known as a carotid hold on McLean's neck. Give us some more units. We're fighting them. The local district attorney reports at this point, McLean loses consciousness briefly. At 10.45 p.m., or a little more than two minutes after police made contact with him, McLean is talking. Oh, my name is Elijah McLean. Yeah, I I to use carotid. That's what I was doing. Just going home. Eight minutes will pass with McLean handcuffed down to the ground, occasionally throwing up, occasionally causing officers to say this. Dude, chill out. And then at 10.54 p.m., with McLean still on the ground, an officer says this. So when the ambulance gets here, we're going to go ahead and give him some ketamine. Perfect, Let's give that a couple of minutes and then we'll put him on. Whatever he's okay. on, right. he has incredible strength. Yeah, crazy strength. Ketamine. One minute before 11 p.m., McLean receives 500 milligrams of ketamine, an anesthetic. An autopsy will suggest McLean had a therapeutic level in his blood. In other words, not enough in the mind of the coroner to kill him. It looks like it's starting to kick in. Seven minutes later. He just cored. Are you serious? Yeah. Responding officers are told McLean in the back of an ambulance has no pulse. He would be revived. But three days later, doctors would remove life support for the brain dead 23 year old. Chris Vanderveen, Nine News. Okay, yeah, for you guys. The overwhelming calls for justice for Elijah McLean led the district attorney's office for the 17th Judicial District to create a page specifically for his case on their website. On it is the DA statement and decision letter. At the bottom of the page is a form so that people can submit their comments to the DA's office. We have a link to that website on 9news.com.